There are five oceans and seven continents. At least that's what most people think. However, this basic worldview has been massively challenged by many scientists since 2017. This year, they made a discovery in the Pacific Ocean that could forever change our view of the world as we know it. Specifically, they found another continent. In this video, we want to explain why our common knowledge of continents in the world may not be true. We also explain what this supposed new continent is and why it could change the course of the world forever. So be sure to stay tuned here at Wise Fool. But before we take a closer look at what the new continent is, let's take a trip back in time and shed some light on what continents really are. It's generally known that our planet Earth was probably created about 4.5 billion years ago by asteroids, dust, gas, and comets. Numerous rocks began forming huge tectonic plates on the Earth's surface. At that time, the Earth was very hot, and the atmosphere was full of water vapor. Then, about 4 billion years ago, the Earth's atmosphere gradually cooled, so water from the atmosphere rained down on the Earth. Many millions of years later, the planet was filled with water. The only area not covered by water at that time was a primeval continent called Pangaea. Pangaea was a vast land area that joined all the continents we know today in one place. This vast area was then inhabited by, among others, dinosaurs, amphibians, the first reptiles, and even the ancestors of mammals. Some 175 million years ago, however, the tectonic plates that formed the entire Pangaea region broke apart piece by piece. Over time, they moved a few centimeters each year until they eventually formed the surface of the Earth and the seven continents we know today. Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia, Antarctica, and North and South America. However, this is not the whole truth. In fact, during the Middle Ages, many European kingdoms began to explore the seven seas by ship. Although they hadn't yet explored every inch of the Earth, they soon realized that much of what may once have been Pangaea seemed to have disappeared. Dutch explorer Abel Tasman, after whom, incidentally, the island of Tasmania is named, became the first European to sail around the Australian continent in 1642 and informed the world that he was firmly convinced that there must be a giant continent around New Zealand, but in the water. The reason for these claims was that there were so many islands and rocks in this area of the Pacific that rose out of the water as if they came out of nowhere. In later years, however, people spent less time exploring this mysterious region and more time conquering it. Firstly, because it was extremely difficult to sail there due to the many islands and rocks. On the other hand, the French and the English were busy colonizing the region and repeatedly fought fierce battles with the natives of New Zealand, Australia, and other islands in the region. Especially with the Maori, there were always fierce battles, as they had lived in New Zealand for centuries and knew the area all too well. So, it took 375 years before people could get back to geological science. But this time, something groundbreaking was discovered. After a series of theories and studies about the area around New Zealand since the 1990s, an article by well-known geographers entitled The Earth's Hidden Continent was published in 2017. In this article, which was published in one of the best-known scientific journals on geography and geology, 11 scientists explained that they had carefully examined the undersea region around New Zealand and discovered something incredible According to them, there is a continental crust of about 4.9 million square meters that borders the tectonic plates of Australia and Antarctica. However, 94% of this giant area is underwater and New Zealand is the only large piece of land that stands out. Other than that, there are only isolated islands like Ball's Pyramid or Lord Howe Island sticking out of the water there. But large parts of the mysterious continent are even below 2 kilometers from sea level. Nevertheless, this landmass is a continent in itself. Scientists found out that all these islands lie on their own continental plate, which consists of 40 kilometer thick granite and basalt, just like the other continents. If one follows this geological reasoning, it is therefore perfectly normal to claim that there is an eighth continent here, of which, however, 
only 6% is above water. Scientists have named this continent Zealandia. But why is Zealandia important? Could we not simply ignore it since it is almost entirely underwater anyway? On the one hand, the discovery of Zealandia brings countless geologists and geographers face to face with new questions when they investigate how continents were formed and why some plates move in one direction and some in another. But the question of why Zealandia sank over time is also interesting. Already some traces of possible dinosaurs have been found, as well as remains of prehistoric flora and fauna. For example, some believe that many millions of years ago, when Zealandia may have still been above water, giant dinosaurs such as Titanosaurus may have lived in this part of the planet. These creatures may have been larger and more massive than anything we have imagined to date, and would have radically changed our perspective of prehistoric times. Also fascinating is the question of what animals might have spread from this region to the rest of the world. The ostrich species, for example, could have originated from there. The bigger question here, however, is, as is often the case, more political in nature. It has been known for some time that quantities of oil and gas are being extracted in New Zealand. However, due to a lack of resources and climate protection, development in New Zealand is rather limited. However, since New Zealand is part of Zealandia, many scientists do not rule out that there could be numerous oil and gas deposits under the ocean. If this is the case, there are 4.9 million square kilometers of surface area that potentially harbor resources that mankind thought would soon be depleted. Although the technology does not yet exist to explore oil and gas at depths greater than two kilometers, this could well happen in a few decades. If this did happen, it would have two consequences. Firstly, fossil fuels could continue to be used, which would make it much more difficult to combat climate change. Secondly, all the islands and countries in the region could gain new influence and thus have completely new economic opportunities. Even many states like the Marshall Islands or Fiji could have a major role in global resource and energy policies and make very important decisions. Or they could become pawns of other major powers that want to exploit potential resources at any price. These questions, however, are still unproven theories. What is no longer a mere theory, however, is that next to Australia lies an underground continent called Zealandia. Although Zealandia is the smallest continent of all, at 4.9 million square kilometers, overall, the discovery is more than groundbreaking and shows that we can always learn new things about the world and our universe. Let us know in the comments what you think of Zealandia. Did you know about it? And if so, what do you think is the future of this region? Subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed the video and see you next time.